The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today we've got some information regarding the new BCA offensive sets and players that are in the game. We've got some new packs in the game as well. These are the offensive BCA packs. Aaron Rodgers on the cover. Kind of cool. Uh, the Aaron Rodgers is actually uh, looking pretty damn beast, to be honest with you. He is the hero if you go in through the sets. Um, just to let you guys know, out of the actual BCA packs, if you go in and take a look at those, um, you do get some decent stuff out of them. There's new, uh, let's see here, there's a new bundle. But even just the base packs, you get four gold or better players uh, along with, uh, these are all BCA players, by the way. So you could pull one of the elites, which is pretty damn cool. Um, there's also the uh, offensive uh, pack with the bundle. The four times pack, which is going to give you uh, a guaranteed another. Basically, it's another pack, essentially, uh, for gold BCA players or better. And if you get the elite uh, or if you get this, the seven one, you're guaranteed an elite. So that's pretty cool. Um, not all the elites are actually going for that much either. So we'll go in here and just take a quick look at those so you guys can kind of get an idea of the players that are currently in the game for the offensive BCAs. Um, now, I was trying to search for the Aaron Rodgers because I haven't seen any of those go up yet. It makes sense, though. Um, you know, the price to create that card is still pretty damn expensive. So uh, if we go in here and find offensive BCA players, and, and by the way, guys, there are not only just elite players, there are also goal players, like a Teddy Bridgewater, which is cool. I think this will probably be the last Teddy Bridgewater that is in the game this year. Um, there's also other ones like a D'Angelo Williams, which I'm kind of surprised that he actually wasn't the hero. Uh, not saying that necessarily he deserves to be like a 95 overall or anything like that, but uh, D'Angelo Williams, for those of you who don't know, is uh, probably one of the biggest BCA guys that there is. I believe his mom died from cancer, or uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but I know he has a very close uh, relationship with the, the BCA program. So um, anyway, kind of a little bit surprising that he wasn't included a little bit more prominently, but... It's, I guess things aren't over yet either. It's still possible that something could come out. But you can take a look here at some of these players that are in there as well. You've got a Nate Soldier. Uh, you guys can see the prices on these actually aren't too bad. You can get some of them for pretty decently cheap. Like the Nate Soldier is going for about 25000 Golden Tate's going for about 30000 or so. Um, there are also other ones down here like a Drew Brees that I think a lot of people are going to be interested in. I've actually seen this one going for quite a bit cheaper. I don't know why the price is so high right now. Um, but that could fluctuate. There's a Golden Tate. Um, Lamar Miller as well and then obviously too there's also a Greg Olson which is a pretty money card but I think the one that most people are going to be excited about is the Larry Fitzgerald obviously Fitzgerald's always a big favorite and he's a big BCA guy as well I know he donates a ton of money and time to uh, supporting breast cancer awareness so that's definitely cool now, this card is only an 83 speed, so that's where it's disappointing, but all the rest of the attributes are among the best of any of the receivers in the game, so he is a very, very nice card as well. Now, when we go back here and look, guys, uh, there's also going to be an Aaron Rodgers, which is the set hero, um, so he is definitely one that is going to be probably pretty damn expensive to create, so uh, I'm, I'm not really expecting that this is going to be a cheap card. But basically, guys, if you want to get the Aaron Rodgers, it is a 92 overall. You're going to need to basically put every single one of the players in here. So that, again, can get pretty expensive, you guys can see. Um, you do also have to include the Aaron Rodgers 85, which you get by uh, completing the new set of BCA solo challenges, which are now in the game as well. So they're adding a lot of content here, which I think a lot of people are pretty excited about. I definitely am as well. Going through the limited time, and you're going to see here there are 16 new solo challenges challenges and you're going to get cards along the way to complete this as well you get a two silver player pack there um, let's see here what else you get the three silver player pack there you get a gold player pack uh, two gold player pack and then at the end a oh, three gold player pack there and then an offensive pack and we'll open up one of those here and then at the very end, you are going to get that 85 overall Aaron Rodgers, which is not auctionable, non-tradable. However, it is able to be placed into the set to get that 92 overall Aaron Rodgers. So again, 
pretty damn cool that they're they're putting all that stuff in the game. It's pretty exciting. Um, there is also a milestone for you to complete right now, which is very, very easy. It's only just get 30 yards receiving on a single play, um, which you can do, you know, by th- throwing it up for a Hail Mary or, you know, running a screen pass or whatever. It's really not that difficult. It's only on the pro difficulty level. So should be able to complete that relatively quickly. And you do get a free offensive BCA player. So that's pretty cool. We'll go in here and take a look and see who we pull. It probably won't be anything great, but hey, it'll at least show you that there is those packs in the game. And you have to appreciate that EA is kind of going out of their way to give us some of this stuff. So um, here is the pack. We're going to open it up and see what we get. Hopefully we get an elite. Probably not. Nope, we get a Morgan Moses gold, so uh, no idea what this is going for right now. We could probably take a look, but either way, um, this is, you know, it's just basically a card to put into the set at this point. I don't really think that any of these guys are going to be worthwhile to have on your team at this point in the game, but still definitely easy to complete that solo challenge and have a chance at an elite player. So uh, with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. I would greatly appreciate it. And good luck, guys, with pulling some of these elites. I know that they're in packs, um, and it's going to be you know pretty expensive to complete, like I said, the Aaron Rodgers. But I do think that he is definitely one of the best quarterbacks in the game, and it might actually be less expensive to create him than it would to create some of the other elite, uh, like the legends and things like that that will be coming out. So uh, thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you again soon.